20 years ago this year that she passed away. Carol was a, a friend and a colleague. <clears throat> she had been president of this organization, had worked in publishing for many years, and was a woman of great vitality and good cheer, was somebody um, who, who lit up the room when, when she was there, when um, all the folks from NCB PMA um, went dancing at, at ABA, it was an ABA in those days, um, she was right there. She was, she was in the center, uh, as she was with, with most of the, um, the industry events that took place in the Bay Area. Um, when Carol uh, died, her family wanted to do something to honor her memory and started a, a scholarship award that, uh, that would uh, help someone earlier in their career who was pursuing a, a marketing a marketing track something that, that Carol uh, had a freelance publicity firm that was um, interestingly we were we were both colleagues and competitors but the, the wonderful thing about Carol was that you never felt you were a competitor she was always willing to help always extending a hand sharing information and so having a scholarship award in her name is, is entirely appropriate. I've had the, the, the pleasure and the honor of being on the award committee on and off for most of these 20 years. And every year, it's a treat because we're presented with, uh, with applicants who are highly qualified and and a pleasure to see joining the book publishing community. This year uh, was no exception. <coughs> Excuse me. We had um, a number of, of excellent candidates. Finally settling on Scott Esposito, who, who did an amazing thing. He, in, in years past, it's been, um, it was common to give the award to someone who wanted to attend a Stanford publishing course or the Denver Publishing Institute or even before that, the, the UC publishing certificate program. Uh, with those mostly gone, with those, those opportunities mostly gone and the publishing world changing so radically, we were presented this year with someone who had created his own curriculum, more or less, through a number of different venues. And, and when we saw the imagination and um, um, resolve that, that this particular candidate presented, we, we, were, we were unanimous in offering him the Butterfield Scholarship. So our, our winner this year is Scott Esposito. And uh, let me turn the microphone over to him. Um, thank you for that introduction. That's, I don't know if anyone's called me amazing before. That's really nice. Um, so thank you for that. And uh, thank you for the NCB PMA and everyone who made this possible. It's a really great thing to have. Um, definitely the money um, will do a lot to help me with what I want to do marketing-wise and to further my career. I think it will definitely be going to a lot of good places. So just really briefly, uh, my background in publishing is that I've worked a lot in sales and marketing, kind of more from the back end of things or the traditional ways of publicizing books. So yeah, what I thought I'd do with the Butterfield money was kind of go into new things that are a little more emergent right now, kind of the way the industry seems to be trending toward the future. So toward that, um, there's some classwork that I plan to do at San Francisco State University's uh, Extension Learning College, and that's gonna be dealing with kind of public relations as regards social media, as regards using the internet and websites to reach consumers, and that sort of thing. 
um, a little background in the organization I work for. I work for a small nonprofit called the Center for the Art of Translation. We're out on Market Street and Second in San Francisco. We're very small, we're just like nine people, so we don't have a lot of money for big PR efforts or advertisings or that sort of thing. So using more social media, more web strategies is definitely something that's kind of geared toward what we do as an organization. So that's the first thing I plan on doing. Uh, the second thing is that I'd like to get more into ebooks and e-marketing. Uh, we have a really nice backlist of material we've been publishing since 1994, and a lot of that is very inaccessible right now because you know people don't really know the books exist, or if they do, it's very hard to kind of sell them. But I think there's a lot of really good content that we can be using in different ways. So I'd like to get more into kind of e-distribution of that content and to sell our books as e-books going forward. So that's kind of classwork-wise the sort of stuff I want to be doing. And then there are also a couple of nice conferences I'd like to go to. Uh, one of them is the big one, the O'Reilly Tools of Change Conference, which I'm sure a lot of you know of. That's going to be out in New York this year. I think it'll be a great opportunity to really kind of build on a lot of the stuff that I'll be learning about internet media and social media and ebooks and that sort of thing. And then also, I'd like to use some of the money to go to the uh, AWP conference, which of course happens every year. Um, we traditionally send some people out to the conference, and so the money will help facilitate sending me out to that this year. So that's kind of a really brief overview of what I'm going to do with the money. And uh, thank you to everyone again. Thank you.